In this video, we will learn to fix Kingdom Come Deliverance missing msvcp120.dll. So let's begin. There will be a link to this page that is dll-files.com and here the heading says download msvcp120.dll. Once you land on this page, just scroll down below and here we have to download both the 32-bit as well as 64-bit files. And you have to take care that these both files are of same version. And here you can see the version is the same. So we would just go and first download the 32-bit file. Just go and download the 32-bit file first. And here the downloading will start in few seconds. So the download has started and will be completed. So just go and now download the 64-bit file. Meanwhile, first we have to check what kind of system we have whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit. For that just go to your this PC, right click it and here click on properties and here against the system type you can see what kind of system we have. So we have 64-bit operating system. In this video we would solve the problem for 32-bit as well as 64-bit. So just go to your download folder where we have recently downloaded the 32-bit and the 64-bit file. Just go and extract these both files and now the 64-bit file. Here we have extracted both the files. Now first we would solve the problem for 32-bit. For 32-bit just go and open the 32-bit DLL file and here we have DLL file just go and copy this. Go to your disk PC. Go to local disk C. Here go to Windows. Just scroll down below and search for system 32. Scroll down below and here we have system32. Just go and open that and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. Paste it here. Click continue. Go back. The problem for 32-bit operating system has been solved. Now we will solve the problem for 64-bit operating system. For that just go and copy the 64-bit operating system file. Here copy the DLL file. Now just go to your windows and here open the system32 paste the 64-bit operating uh, DLL file here click continue go back and here now again copy the 32-bit operating 32-bit uh, DLL file again copy the 32-bit DLL file again copy it and go to your windows folder and here just scroll down below and search for syswow64 here we have syswow64 just go and open that and paste the 32-bit DLL file here. Paste it here, click continue, go back. Now the problem for 64-bit operating system has also been solved. If you still have any confusion I will just paste the description where to copy where to paste in the description below the video. Hope by doing so your problem will be solved. If you still have any confusion just comment down below I will try to answer that. But before you go, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.